In this video, we're looking at the pruning the network section of the InfoWorks ICM basic tutorial. We're about halfway through the ICM basic tutorial that can be found in the InfoWorks ICM help. Um, so with pruning a network, this is a tool, pruning is a tool in ICM um, that can be used to kind of trim off maybe uh, smaller uh, pipes from your network to leave kind of more of a trunk network if you're looking to reduce the number of pipes within your network. So we have an exercise in the tutorial to demonstrate this. Um, so we'll start by opening the Langley pruned network and this is in your tutorial data in ICM. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and make this window a little bigger, a little easier to see. Um, and then the next step, we're going to drag the pipes less than 250 millimeters selection list out onto the geo plan. We would have created this in a previous section of the tutorial, the um, creating selection lists with SQL topic um, a little further back in the tutorial. So now you can see um, your network. Uh, it should now include a selection, so you'll see several pipes highlighted in red, as you will in the screenshot shown over in the tutorial. So that's kind of how you know you've dragged over the right um, selection list. So we can move on to setting up our pruning options. So from the model menu, we can choose simplify and then simplification options. And we can see both um, the merge method and the prune method, and we want to open up the prune method um, simplification options. And so I'm going to scroll down in my tutorial, and um, we want to look at the selection refinement tab. And uh, we want to make sure we have the first and second options ticked. And in your tutorial, you'll see a few more details about what these options um, are going to do. And then, um, so to go ahead and apply these, we can click OK. And then we want to apply and then click OK. And so then um, we want to go ahead and prune our links. Um, so uh, first we need to apply the uh, the selection refinement that we just created. So we're going to go to model again, simplify again, and then this time we're going to refine the selection for the pruning. So now we're applying those options that we just created in the simplification options. So when I click this button, you're going to notice uh, some new objects selected in the network. So I click this and you'll notice now I have some nodes selected and there might be some stuff that was deselected as well. And so now that I've done that, I'm going to right click on the geo plan and choose selection. And then we want to count selected objects. Go. So now we can see how many objects we've got selected. We've got 37 nodes and 37 links selected. This is kind of just a preview of um, what you're going to be pruning. Um, and it doesn't mean that all 37 links and nodes will be pruned. It just means that this is these are the number of objects that are being considered for pruning. Um, so if that looks OK, you'll go ahead and close that. And then now, now that we've kind of verified um, that, we're going to go ahead and do the pruning. So to do that, you're going to go to the model network again. I'm sorry, the model menu again, simplify, and then prune selection. And you'll get a pop-up telling you um, how much is being pruned. And then you'll click OK. So you'll notice now that um, there should be some orange. They should be kind of an orange color. It's probably hard to tell in the video, but the orange links are the links that were removed, um, that were pruned using the prune tool. And so you'll notice your subcatchments are now, they might look a little funky because they are now pointing to the next available node that was not pruned. Because with pruning, we don't want to get rid of all the flows. We're just trying to get rid of um, some kind of smaller links in this example. Um, 
So now we're going to find areas that are still selected. So I'm going to right click and say zoom to selection. And so this is just, these are just basically some, uh, some areas that um, were selected but weren't pruned. Um, and so the reason uh, why these weren't pruned is because they are connected to storage nodes. So they're smaller links that are connected to storage nodes and um, you basically can't um, prune links that are connected to storage nodes. So that's why those were left. And now we're going to see which of our small pipes are still um, remain in the model. So I'm going to drag in my selection list again. And I can see there are still some areas uh, selected. So I'm going to zoom to the selection so we can see those a little better. I can see a little one here. I can see one here. Uh, I think there's one over there. I think those are the ones still connected to the storage areas. So still a few areas that weren't pruned. So you'll notice this link here, it doesn't have an upstream node. So it looks like this link should have been pruned. Um, and the tutorial kind of explains that it was like a duplicate pipe. And so whatever pipe was on top of it or underneath it was selected and was pruned. Um, so there's a way that we can uh, remove this pipe as well. So we'll go ahead and use the polygon select tool. To select it so we've selected that and the um, any pipes that are still there um, that were left from the pruning process and it did select that subcatchment but that's okay so I'm gonna hold my control key and open the conduit table um, so yeah so it does look like there was that one pipe remaining that can be deleted so I'm just gonna clear my selection um, so I don't delete anything uh, that I don't want to delete. I'm going to go ahead and select this pipe um, and then I can use this delete selection to just go ahead and get rid of that superfluous pipe. So now we're going to prune the network a bit further. So I'm going to back up so we can see a little bit better here and I'm going to apply the selection list again and this time I'm going to go ahead and hold the control key and also select the pump because we're going to be pruning the pump as well. Um, so now we're going to, uh, we'll go ahead and zoom to our selection, make things as easy as we can to see. And then we're going to um, go ahead and refine the selection for pruning. So again, we're going to go to the model menu and simplify and refine um, the selection and we still have those same options uh, from before selected so you'll notice that we had the pump selected so we've also selected the upstream node for pruning and now we can go ahead and prune again so from the model menu and simplify and then we'll click prune selection we're pruning three areas we're going to go ahead and click OK And then just for the sake of the exercise, you may not want to do this in real life, um, but you can go ahead and delete this subcatchment. So I'm selecting that subcatchment and then I'm going to go ahead and delete that selection, clean up this model even more. So now we have pruned our model of all those uh, smaller diameter links. So I'm going to go ahead and commit my changes to the master database and add a comment. And commit.